Hello everyone. So in today's video, we are using K-mean algorithm to extract dominant color from an image. And before we start today's tutorial, I want you to have a look at what K-mean says. So just have a look at this image here. So we use, as I told before, we use K-means to extract dominant color. So what K-means does is basically uh, make cluster of similar colors. So the image, uh, suppose you are in your image, you have three colors, uh, red, blue, and green. So K-means make three clusters of red, blue, and green, and then it will divide them, partition them, and then count uh, count the pixels. So the and the one which is having more 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 pixels, it will return that particular color as a dominant color. So this is a um, uh, uh, little bit knowledge about K-means, and let's start our uh, today's tutorial, the coding part. So here in this uh, uh, in this code, as you can see, we first import some libraries. So this is an open 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 cv library and this one is a numpy and then we are, we are using matplotlib so after importing our packages we then read our image that is image.jpg so here you can see this is our image so and also using plot.im so i am printing the image also before uh, implementing k-means you have to make sure that you convert the RGB, BGR to RGB because initially your image is in BGR format so we have to convert this BGR format to RGB after that our gaming will, we will implement on our image so using this statement we successfully convert our image to RGB and then what we do, we basically, uh, initially we have a three dimensional uh, array. So we convert it into two dimensional because for extracting dominant color, you need not to have the coordinates or you need the value of pixels. So what we do, we basically convert our 3D array into 2D array. So initially the shape that we have that is of 100 cross 100 into 3, it changes to 10,000 cross 3. So to do that, all you have to do is to multiply the first uh, shape to the second shape and, the, and then uh, uh, you will get a two dimensional array. So after that, all you have to do is just import k-means algorithm and you will import k-means from sklearn.cluster. Make sure you uh, install sklearn into your system. Then after importing, you have to mention how many clusters of color you want. So for example in this image, suppose you want, uh, let's have a, a cluster of 5, like we have 5 colors here, you can see 1, 2, 3, 4 and the 5th one, this one. So what we do, we will pass 5 as a cluster and in k-means here we are passing 5, uh, the variable to which we assign 5 and then we simply uh, pass it to a uh, k-means algorithm so using k-means.pick we pass our image and then after this uh, you, after this statement our k-means successfully deploy our image into it uh, into the algorithm and now we we, we get so we will using k-means we we retrieve some values from it so here you can see we write colors and labels. So what color uh, what colors are here and labels are we, we we will see them in a in a minute. So here just have a look at how we are importing colors and labels. So to import colors you have to use kmage dot cluster underscore center underscore and for labels you have to use kmage uh, dot labels underscore. Now later in this code that uh, you can see here, we have colors and labels uh, we import. So colors are uh, yeah, so colors are basically the values of uh, pixel values of five most um, uh, the five colors that you have in your image. 
so here color specific colors contain the color array contain the pixel values and the label contains the label of them so let me uh, just have a look at this code you will understand much better so what we are doing here is we basically assigning a label count uh, uh, this here and then we will uh, count the number of uh, pixel value uh, in that particular cluster so as we here define five clusters so we have uh, labels five labels in our cluster that we get from k means and then we will count them one by one so using this you are counting these labels and color color is basically the five pixel value the k means uh, k means returners so color contain five pixel values uh, that are rgb values so we have five uh, five different colors with rgb values and we have labels five different labels uh, of various count of count so here we are using label count uh, first we define a simple list and then we are counting the labels in our, the the k means returners so using this code you can easily get the count of each cluster and then using this we are basically accessing the index of that maximum uh, maximum count so in, let's have a look at this statement here so when we are printing this so we get 2042 labels of this particular color pixel rgb value here you can see and this is a percentage so how we are calculating it we are simply simply we are calculating the label and then we are dividing it by the overall values we get in our label so here we have a label count and we are accessing each each element in our list and then we are dividing it by the uh, whole count of label so here we have labels so for each uh, pixel value you will get a uh, number of labels and the percentage of that count so here we have for this pixel we have that much uh, labels and this is the overall percentage so as you can see we we classify we above define five clusters so we have one two three four five values here and the maximum percentage you can see we are getting for this pixel it is 31.09 percent so you can clearly say that this one is a dominant color of our image and we save this in a, here we save this uh, maximum maximum count in index color so to do that you have to simply uh, write this statement here that is max label count means you are accessing the maximum value from the list and dot index means the index value of that particular max value then all you need to do is to pass that particular pixel value so now we get the pixel value so here we have uh, from this we we are getting that this pixel is uh, having maximum value in our image so as its percentage is 31.09 so now we have to uh, get the name of this particular color which is having rgb value 253 236 and 175 so to to do that uh, we wrote a code above here so all you have to do is to pass the uh, pixel value uh, in this code and this will return you the uh, name of the color some sometimes it may happen that uh, as we have a rgb value and there are maximum possibility of 255 cross 255 to, uh, cross 255 values are there so sometimes it may be possible that the actual name doesn't exist for a particular rgb value so it will return the closest to that particular pixel uh, closest name of the color to that particular pixel value so below we are passing this uh, in the get color name we are passing the color pixel so we access the index number and now we are passing this so in this particular function we are passing this uh, color pixel value so here we pass 253 236 and 175 and then we will get the closest color name that is mocassin but the actual color name does not exist for this value so it is returning us the closest closest color name for this value okay 
so here we have a image and i think we it clearly we have a view that this this color here is having uh, is the dominant color and that is a little bit light light yellow color so let's have a look at this uh, let's run this code first so here we are running our code and it returns us mocassin and so let's just uh, have a look at what mocassin color is to check that whether our model is returning us the correct uh, color or not so just check on google uh, the images of mocassin color oh, it's just name <laughs> so let's look at this color image so here you can see we have mocassin color and this is a light yellow color here in this image and it is very much uh, glow just have a look at this uh, color here and it is very much close to the uh, yellowish part of this image which is the dominant color so using this you can get the closest color uh, sorry the dominant color in your image so hope you gain knowledge from this tutorial uh, if you have any queries please please ask us and uh, that's all in this tutorial thank you guys